First, we're going to start with the pancreas and the stomach. So the pancreas and the stomach work together. The pancreas has the digestive enzymes. The stomach receives the food. So the stomach in Western medicine, we know that it secretes some digestive enzymes as well, such as hydrochloric acid, which helps digest. It's not an enzyme, but helps in the digestion process. And pepsin, which helps break down proteins. But in Chinese medicine, we take that function and we lump it into the pancreas. The pancreas is the digestive organ. The stomach is the storehouse. It's where the food comes in, and this is where the food is said to rot and ripen. Okay, so the food comes in, the pancreas starts doing its work to digest, and then it'll start breaking it down. The pancreas is said to transform and transport the food. So it transforms the food in the sense that we take in food, we digest it, we break it down, and we break it down into its nutrients, into its base nutrients. Those base nutrients are what we need in order for our general um, support in terms of living. But the transport part means that it takes those things and it sends it to where it needs to go. So the pancreas will, for instance, transport fluids up to the lungs and then down to the kidney in Chinese medicine. So it'll go to the kidney, where the kidney processes fluids, and we know a lot about that. But it'll go up to the lungs to moisten the lungs, and then the lungs, we'll talk about it later, will do something with that at that point. But it's basically sending the fluids throughout the body in terms of where it wants to go, or where it needs to go. So what happens when the spleen can't process food as well? Did I mention this last week? Then we blow. Then we blow. That's when it doesn't process food well and we get gas. But when it doesn't process fluid well, we get pathological fluids in our body. Remember we talked about that Ayurvedic term, Atma? That like mucusy stuff that's really hard to get rid of. Chinese medicine, we call this dampness. And so when we're not processing fluids well, we get dampness that gets stuck. And the problem with dampness is that it blocks the normal flow of qi, blood, yin, yang. So things aren't moving quite right. Okay. Pancreas and stomach are the earth element to refer back to last week. It's the earth element. Remember what I said in terms of that five element model that the earth can be put into the center? We put into the center because it nourishes everything in the whole body. But when we're talking about tissues, we're talking very specifically about the muscles. So someone who works out excessively, they overwork out, they're going to deplete their pancreas. They're going to deplete their digestion. This is what we've noticed through thousands of years of observing in Chinese medicine. So does that mean like if you can feed your pancreas for the rest of your life, like you know, like um, some over so it'll deplete you in the sense that it'll deplete you for a little bit, and then um, if you overdo it and keep overdoing it, then it can deplete you more and more in terms of the in terms of not being able to recover. But for the most part, it doesn't. You have one strong workout, sure you're going to deplete your pancreas a little bit, but you can bounce back. But if you're over and over pounding on your pancreas, basically, right, you're overdoing it, then you lose that. You lose its ability to bounce back. People who are long-term, like really avid exercisers, like cross trainers and they do triathlons, what happens, especially, we'll take women as an example, a lot of times they decide that they want to get pregnant. And a lot of times what happens is they have a really difficult time getting pregnant because they've been depleting all of their stores. Sure, one, their pancreas gets depleted because of that connection with the muscles in the pancreas, that's going to happen. But over time, you're going to deplete your blood as well, because the blood has to nourish the muscles. And then deeper over time, remember that qi and blood come from yang and yin. Qi comes from yang, blood comes from yin. So over time, what's going to happen is that all of those things are going to deplete you on a deeper and deeper level if you're overdoing it for longer and longer periods of time. One of the five exhaustions in Chinese medicine is over-exercise. 
In the same way that we overdo working out and damages the spleen, excuse me, the pancreas, the intellect, remember we talked last week about the five spirits, the E or the intellect is directly related to the pancreas. And it relies on the pancreas's chi to nourish it, to keep it supported. So in the same way when we over-exercise and we deplete the pancreas, if we overuse our minds, we deplete the pancreas as well. 